the body speaks to us and we get to learn how to understand its communication. We can have what might seem like random pains or random thoughts or random emotions, things that don't seem to make sense in the moment. And they can be frustrating, but that's just because we don't recognize what the message is. All of these different random symptoms that we experience in life, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, energetic, whatever it is, they're merely messages. They're merely our body trying to communicate to us. And often we get these symptoms before there's a real problem. It's kind of like a shot across the bow, a warning sign saying, hey, there's something not quite right here. You'd better take a look before there's a serious problem. So one of my clients, one of my students, uh, experienced a lot, of, a lot of anxiety and her heartbeat would race. And she was so concerned that there was something physically wrong with her heart. But she'd go to the doctors and they'd test it and everything's fine. And as I worked with her, we recognized that there was an energy issue. Her energetic heart was not responding well to the stress level in her life. And so what happens is that she feels the stress, her body's programmed to respond in a certain way, and that's how it was responding with this rapid heart rate. And there was nothing physically wrong, but there was a warning. It was letting her know there could be something wrong here. There may develop a problem here if you don't get this under control. And so as we worked together and found those, those imbalances and those obstacles to her body functioning properly, she has healed and no longer does her body respond that way because she answered the message. She heard it, she acknowledged it, and responded to it in a productive way so that the problem is no longer there. And it won't. It won't develop into a physical problem because we caught it. And so what seems like a random pain in the left shoulder can just be another message saying, all right, there was this experience about 20 years ago <laughs> where you struggled with a certain person and you kind of had an injury and that emotion, those struggles, that stress with that person found its way into that weakness in your left shoulder. And that problem didn't get resolved. That relationship didn't get resolved. And so those emotions and that stress and those negative thoughts started festering and developing in that left shoulder and sometimes it flares up and hurts and then it goes away. What's that? And so it can be a historic problem. It, it can be a way your body responds to stress, some kind of inherited programming, but it can also be something that your body's just letting you know. You need to change your behavior. So if you stop and ask, why does my shoulder hurt? You may be surprised. You might actually get an answer. A thought might come to you. Don't dismiss it. Even if it seems odd or it doesn't make sense, give it space to explain itself. Because it might be that you think of that person and you remember, oh yeah, I had a hard time with that person. And so, one solution to that shoulder ache might be forgiving that person. It might be forgiving yourself. It might be something where you held a grudge and you had a hard time getting through that. But if you forgive, I imagine you'll find that that shoulder pain leaves because it doesn't have to be something wrong with your bones or the joint or the muscles or the tendons and ligaments, it, it's probably not 
physical, but it could be emotional. It could be a choice you need to make. It could be an awareness that you need to have because maybe you're around that same kind of person again. And so that pain is resonating with that energy and those emotions that you're experiencing with that new relationship. So here's your chance to resolve it. Here's your chance to make a choice that can shift how you experience life and how your body experiences life because it's just letting you know there's an imbalance, there's something wrong here. 